hey guys welcome back so today is a casual vlog as you can probably tell by my ensemble <laughs> it is early it's i mean it's not that early it's 9 30 in the morning but i have the day off work today and christian's daycare is still open so he went to daycare and i'm gonna get some things done around the house and because i have the day kind of to myself i figured i would just vlog and bring you guys along with me it's funny i actually slept in my makeup last night not ideal i know but i slept in my makeup last night because i was just so tired um and so when i woke up my brows were filled in and i was filming like some instagram stories talking with you guys and i feel like i looked so much more put together in those because i still had day old makeup on and now i'm looking at myself and i'm like oh olivia you're balding but no i am so sleepy today i we had a really productive weekend you guys saw that vlog where we like went and got our couch and we've been planning for our new place and all this stuff but i last night i just started feeling like nauseous and really exhausted and i woke up today feeling the same way because i have free time today i really want to work out and i want to like be productive and take advantage of the day although i'm trying to give myself grace that like it's okay to have a day of doing nothing i am 29 weeks pregnant <laughs> it's okay to just chill but i'm also in nesting mode and we're prepping for a move so i really feel like i should get like some packing done and stuff like that today um but i'm just sleepy and it's so gloomy here in california that it's really hard to stay motivated this is like how gloomy which probably doesn't even look that gloomy to you guys but it is gloomy here. I can't see the sun at all. And when I can't see the sun, I have a really hard time keeping my energy up. That's actually our new place is more inland. So we're further away from the beach, but I'm actually looking forward to it because we currently live in San Clemente and we love San Clemente, but in the summertime, you get this intense marine layer and I actually you don't I don't feel like we saw the sun a lot this last summer and it's hard for me to I don't know I need like I need vitamin D I need the sun to feel happy and energized so I think that's why I'm struggling right now so I'm about to make some coffee and then I'm gonna start packing and I'm hoping that maybe vlogging and coffee and starting to feel a little productive will give me the energy I need to work out as well. I'm also gonna film a video today. I'll take you guys with me to do that. We're gonna drop some donations off at Salvation Army. We're gonna have a productive day. It's only 9.30, but I'm just struggling right now. So <laughs> we'll get it together. We'll get it together. Yes, she does. All right, I have my coffee. Now I'm going to try and get some packing done. So I have this huge like hallway linen closet that is so messy. I need to go through this and I'm starting to pack away like the things just for our bathroom and just for stuff that I know I'll keep. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and have my coffee while I start packing a little bit trying to be as productive as I can, even though I'm sleepy. So far, it's like mainly Bath & Body Works products that I have. This is all stuff I stocked up on during the holiday season when they were having a bunch of their sales and their semi-annual sales. So I got a bunch of these. That way our bathrooms are just like fully stocked at the new place. And then I have a big tub at our new place that I cannot wait for. So I grabbed some of these like bath fizzies, these little bath bombs. These were only $3 each. I got them just at Target um, in the dollar spot. And then I have the, some bath salts here too that were a Christmas gift. So that's what I got in my box so far. And I have this big box. You guys, this is just from when I had my Bath & Body Works candle obsession. Oh my gosh, so bad. I need to go through here. Some of these are so old. closet is a little more cleared at least. I have this whole box of things we're taking. 
This little pile is all to donate. That's trash. And then later today, my goal is to actually go through all the products I have under our bathroom sink as well. All right, I was getting ready to work out and then the furniture store called me because um, there was something they wanted to confirm with our couch and then they're gonna call me right back. So I figured while I was waiting, I would just go ahead and start going through the products in the bathroom. So I have this whole cabinet under here that I need to go through because I do not need to take all these products with me but some of them I'll need to. So I'm going to go through and sort and I'm just using that white storage box that I just emptied out. I'm gonna use that to take products. Look at that self tanner. Um, but I'm gonna use this new box that I just emptied out to take products over to the new place. Big old belly. <laughs> and I think that gave me the energy I need to work out. So I'm gonna go get on the treadmill for just a little bit. We'll see how long I can do. Um, I know I've talked before about how I like to do like either 20 or 30 minute workouts on there. Jordan really doesn't want me pushing myself right now because I've been getting so many Braxton Hicks and I've been just really active this pregnancy in comparison to my first one because we are moving and I'm chasing after a Christian and all that stuff so he wants me to take it easy so i promised him i would but i'm gonna get on there and just see if i can do a little bit it's funny though it's like i thought i needed coffee and i thought i needed and i did need water but when i had a snack that gave me the energy i needed like i feel so much better after eating and it's just interesting being in my third trimester now and being in this stage i mean i'm at the point where like my belly feels so big <laughs> and it like right now it feels so tight and it's like hard to push on um and so i just don't have an appetite very often and i have to like make myself eat because i don't feel hungry in the same ways i'm used to feeling hungry in so like when i get low energy that's a sign to me that i need to eat but i'm i'm like waiting for my stomach to growl and feel empty and it's not happening and so i don't know it's, i'm just rambling at this point but i'm gonna stop touching my hair and i'm gonna go work out <laughs> Okay, workout is complete. My hair is crazy. Um, one of the things I can't wait for in our new place is that we're actually gonna use our garage only for working out and for storage because we'll have our own driveway that we can park in. So right now we park one car in our garage and then we do have workout equipment out there but it just gets so dirty that it's like, it's not the best area to work out in I feel like. So we're actually gonna have a whole little like workout setup at our new place so i'm really looking forward to that which means hopefully more workout videos and everything like that especially once i'm postpartum and can push myself a little bit more today i did 20 minutes on the treadmill which still felt really good but i did i probably could have gone longer but my stomach just felt so tight while i was on there that i didn't want to push myself i know working out is probably good for it it will probably help me but i don't know i just don't want to push it so However, I'm really glad I actually did work out and that I used the free time today to get on there and to move my body and to sweat a little bit. It's seriously like, I never regret a workout. I never work out and then wish I wouldn't have, but if I don't do it, then I wish I would have. So if you're in the same boat as me, just do it. You'll be happy you did. But now it is time to shower and get myself together because I do want to do some filming today. It's noon now. And I would like to do some filming. I was even thinking about maybe doing a Target run or maybe going to the beach a little bit. We'll see, but I gotta get all of this together. So give me a second, I'll be back. See you guys in a second. <laughs> all right, I'm a little bit ready. It took only 
the blink of an eye to get ready. No, I'm feeling so much better though now that I'm a little bit put together. I've got my ring lighting behind me because I'm about to film. It was good. I got ready. I took a nice shower. No rushing, like not feeling like I have to get anywhere or do anything so that was really nice. I did a face mask beforehand. I had a snack. I put on self tanner. Got myself ready and now I'm ready to film. So I'm gonna sit down, film this video, and then I need to film some like Instagram stories and take a couple pictures for this super cute maternity clothing company that I'm sharing their stuff on my Instagram. And then we'll see where the day takes us. But I'll be back shortly. I'm gonna prop up the camera too and do like a little behind the scenes action. Full disclosure, I am filming this video pantsless right now because pregnant life. <laughs> Okay, filming is complete, got my video filmed. Now I'm gonna do a little try on haul for Instagram stories, but I'll show you guys what I have here as well. So these clothes are all from a company called Lego Heritage, um, and they are like an Australian based maternity company that has the cutest stuff, like seriously, I'm excited. This video is not sponsored, but I am working with them for the Instagram content, and so I figured I would just show this to you guys. So I'll save those if you wanna look at them on my Instagram highlights, but I'll also just do like quick clips through to show you what they sent me, but yeah, it's like the cutest stuff. So I'm gonna prop this up and do a little bit of a try on haul. Okay, so my Instagram try on haul is complete. So now what I wanna do is pack a little bit because whew, I'm like out of breath from doing that too. Um, but I have this big shelf here in my office with just all these random things on it and Christian loves to go for it. Like pretty much the bottom two shelves are fair game for him and then he'll reach up and try and grab what's here and then he's constantly reaching and trying to get what's on or in my like makeup brush holder too. So I just wanna pack all of this away. I have this big box here and I'm gonna do that so that the rest of the time we live here, I don't have to worry about him going for it. That's a little better at least. I actually already cleared out both of these things, so. Uh, this. I could just add in there. I'm gonna add some like padding and you know, the usual to that stuff, but it's clear. Progress. This is my real life OOTD. Sweats of all different colors, bed unmade things everywhere, even though I feel like I've been cleaning nonstop. So chic, I know. All right, as you can tell, I'm in the car. We are currently headed to the beach. Just me, me and baby, of course. I've been going back and forth with whether or not I wanted to get Christian first and take him to the beach, or I really wanted to do a Target run today, but I actually only need one thing at Target, and you guys have heard me talk in my videos before about how I am like a crazy prioritizer. So I go through my list, I figure out if what I need to get done, if it has to be done that day, or if the other things I wanna get done are more of a priority to me. And like right now, 
have an hour before I need to pick Christian up at daycare and I need to go to Salvation Army and drop things off for um, donations because I have a ton of donations. I have a whole trunk full of things and I need to clear them out of the house. And I want to go to the beach. That's a priority to me because we only have a couple weeks left of living a block away from the beach. I mean, we can always drive to the beach anytime we live in SoCal, but um, we only have a couple weeks left of living super close to this beach. So it's a priority to me to get to the beach. It's my day off. It's my day of me. It's a priority of mine to spend time there. Target, I feel like, isn't as big a priority today. Like, I can go another day this week and it will be fine. I can get what I need those days. And I'm always at Target anyways. But yeah, so this is just part of the conversation I've been having with myself as I decide how to spend the last hour of the day that I have just for me. I've also been thinking, like, should I do Target now and then Salvation Army real quick and then pick up Christian and then we can do the beach together. But I feel like I really want some, like, quiet peaceful time just for me there and also for me and this baby like I I really want I don't know I was thinking about today and it's like I never I want to make more of an effort to talk to him and do things with him while I'm pregnant if that sounds weird but I feel like I put more of an effort into things like that when I was pregnant with Christian so right now I'm going to the beach just me and just me and this little dude and we're going to hear the ocean and I'm gonna grab some stones. We have um, a bowl of rocks in the middle of our dining room table that is full of white stones that I've been picking up at the beach, I don't know, the last few months that we've been going and it's kind of like a home decor piece but I'm planning on putting it in the nursery for the boys or in their joint room um, once we move into our new place. So. I don't think you're supposed to take stones from the beach. I think there's actually signage that tells you not to, but I'm a rebel. So I'm gonna see if I can find some white rocks and just enjoy a little bit of quiet, peaceful time. Just me and my belly at the beach. Then we'll go drop off donations and then we'll go grab baby boy. There's the view. Beach visit is complete and it was so nice. I definitely needed that time to just like reset. I feel like there's something about the ocean. I mean, it's it's clinically proven actually. It's called like, I can't remember what it's called, blue, blue something, but um, it's clinically proven that like watching the ocean for X amount of time will help reduce your stress levels. And it's so true. Every time I go to the beach, I feel like I'm just replenished and like it feels, I feel like my soul's gas tank is like filling back up and I can feel it. Um, but when I was there, I missed Christian and I wished that I would have brought in him and I was having mom guilt about it because mom guilt is real and you have it one way or another no matter what you do so when we got or when I got there it's like it was so nice to have some me time and some quiet time and time with just like my pregnancy at the beach but I also wished I would have brought Christian and I missed him so I went and got him a little bit early from daycare he's in the back can you say hi Bubba? Bubba can you say hi? He's not talking, but we're gonna go to Salvation Army drop off now together, and then we're gonna go home and get some dinner and have a good evening. So I hope you enjoyed this like hang out with me video today. Um, thanks for watching and for hanging out with me for the day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.